And then all of a sudden, I was like super aware of being in a human body. I was like, ugh, this is, I don't know, like, I felt like I was in a copy machine or something. And that's when all of a sudden, I was a giant. What up? It's Herbal Visions. Um, I just wanted to talk about Amanita muscaria. Um, so I found a bunch of these up in the Rocky Mountains a couple months ago. Um, and just been doing a lot of research on them. Um, um, I feel like I've been wanting to try these for a while, and I feel like it's really important if you want to try Amanitas to learn as much as you can about them. I see it as a form of respect to the mushroom to learn as much about it before I try it, and it makes me feel safer and uh, just it's more responsible. Just read up on it as much as you can. I'll probably have a blog about it soon. Um, but just know everything about it. Um, so that being said, I want to talk about um, my first experience with it. Um, I think it was like last week. I tried it for the first time and I want to say first of all I was having um, lately just having a lot of trouble um, eating um, I just have no appetite lately and lots of anxiety since I lost my job. So I feel like, um, keep that in mind as I tell my story. So, okay. So I was planning on taking a microdose. I, I should have waited out. I really didn't know how much I was taking up. Maybe, I don't know, a tiny little half of a, one fourth of a cap or something like that. Um, so I decided to make a tea with it and just put some ginger and some like a bunch of other medicinal mushrooms like chaga and that kind of stuff. Um, so I let that brew for like 15 minutes and then uh, so yeah I let that brew and I think it was like 1130 when I uh, started sipping on it and I was really just sipping on it. I um, kind of didn't really want to feel any effects, like I wasn't trying to trip or anything, I was just trying to just see what it would feel like to microdose, and um, I've heard people say that it makes your dreams intense, so I was kind of hoping I would get some intense dreams, and, um, but I guess <laughs> I took more than I should have, so I'm laying in my bed and just looking through my like dream book, dream dictionary thing, and just thinking about some dreams that I had and um, I'm just sipping on the Amanita tea and I like hold it in my mouth for a little bit just as I'm like daydreaming um, and I feel like that made it kick in like all of a sudden I like started feeling really weird and like it's kind of like a drunk feeling I guess um, but, so I turned off my light and just laid down, and laid down in my bed, and it, uh, it just like, it hit me like all of a sudden it feels like. Um, okay, so it was around 12 a.m. when all of a sudden it started to kick in, and I wasn't trying to get too weird for my first time, so I just stopped drinking and turned off my lights, lay down. So this is when I start, getting anxiety really bad but keep in mind that this is kind of normal for me I get anxiety a lot and like panic attack kind of things and it's kind of I'm kind of used to it but um, then I started thinking like what if Amanita is poisonous and I'm gonna die and choke and ah. I was just like freaking out about it and just irrational thinking like I always kind of think that when I first take something new you know so the effects were getting stronger and stronger and my perception was kind of warped. Kind of like a drunk feeling, but kind of different. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, I started to feel a little nauseous at this point, but I thought it was going to be worse because I always have stomach problems too. So And because I had it on an empty stomach. So I was surprised I didn't get more nauseous. Um, it really wasn't a problem at all. Um, but every time I get anxiety about when I'm using a psychedelic like for some reason I always think like my throat is gonna close up and I'm gonna suffocate like I don't know like that happens when I'm on psychedelics and when I'm sober too so I guess 
I'm just a weirdo. But yeah, I was just laying in bed thinking my throat's gonna clo close up and I'm gonna fucking die right here. And so, oh god, it's making me have a panic attack just thinking about it. <sighs> um, so I was thinking I couldn't breathe and I just had to like lay up on my bed and just like try to like focus on my breathing and I was kind of freaking out a little bit just like oh, I could not catch a breath no matter what I, I mean I was breathing but like it felt like something was laying on my chest and I couldn't get a full breath that's kind of always how panic attacks feel for me but um so and then I start like shaking really bad like I was kind of cold at first but my, I mean, my body wasn't cold, but I felt like I couldn't, like, I was shaking like I was super cold. And I couldn't really control it. And I, it kind of reminded me of how, like, when animals um, get done, like, once, like, a, if a cheetah is chasing, like, some kind of deer or something and the deer escapes it starts to it trembles and that's kind of how it gets rid of its uh anxiety i feel like that's kind of what was happening to me like maybe i don't so know. the shaking is getting worse and worse and i really wanted to stop because it's really like it's kind of exhausting like shake i i was kind of worried that i was having about to have a seizure or something but i just start meditating at this point and i just try to think about my breathing and just try to bring myself in the moment and that kind of always helps me when I'm sober too so um I thought of like the Amanita spirits or whatever like giving me hugs and comforting me and um I just did my best to like clear my mind and that's when it um stopped and all of a sudden I got this like super comfortable feeling like almost like a painkiller or something like it's it's hard to explain like I felt these sort of waves of numbness like it would start from my head and then go down and I felt like I don't know like I felt like it was in a copy machine or something like that's kind of like I was being scanned or something like that like just this feeling some kind of pressure like coming down and going all the way through my body and come back up and so and then um, there was one point when I started thinking about Alice in Wonderland, and that's when all of a sudden I was a giant in my room. Me and my bed were just, either me and my bed were giant or my room was shrinking. I have no idea. Maybe both, like, but I could, like, understand what was happening. I knew it wasn't, it was just my perception, and I could kind of go in and out of it. Like, I could make myself big or I could make myself small, and, like, I could like go back and forth and control it and that was kind of crazy um and then there was one point where I felt like I could like it's like kind of like astral projection or something like that like I could I transported myself in my mind somewhere else and I was just like floating around it kind of reminds me of like some lucid dreams that I've had before and I could feel and see everything in this other place, but I knew that I was just in my bed, too. So it was like, I felt like I was in two places at once or something, but... And then all of a sudden, I was, like, super aware of being in a human body. I was like, ugh, this is disgusting, dude. Like, all these organs and skin and just, like, it seemed alien to me. Like, I felt like I was in a meat bag or something. It was just so gross, and it seemed archaic like it seems super old-fashioned to be in this body like old school you know I don't know it's it weird but so at this point I start listening to mu some music trying to just like calm myself down still and um I think it was like 1 30 around this time and um I probably fell asleep soon after um and then the next morning, I feel pretty great, and I accidentally take another sip of the tea because I forgot that <laughs> it was there was in there. So I started to feel it a little bit more that morning, and I had a lot of energy like after I had the sips of tea. So I feel like there is something to microdosing, and well, I don't know. I still I wish I 
I wish I knew how much I took, so, because I just, it couldn't have been a microdose. It could have been the combination of me just not eating or, I don't know, but that was definitely a lot more intense than I thought it would be, so, but overall, a pretty good experience. I want to try it again. Um, I, um... I want to take a little bit of bigger dose next time. I'll probably actually try to microdose with it more um, and definitely eat more um, before I try it next time too because I think that'll kind of help my stomach. And But um, once again, please do research on this before you try it. Um, this is a legal mushroom. Um, they say it's poisonous, but really it's... It's not. Uh, there's not enough research on it, and mycophobia. People are just scared of mushrooms, and so um, overall, yeah, I'll just definitely be reporting on this again. And so, stay tuned. Thank you.